Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're looking at something that is like a super, super common question within the piercing community, within people who want to get new piercings, within people who don't like have any piercings. It's just something that a lot of people want to know the answer to and I'm going to give it to you today. And that is what piercings scar the most. A great part of piercings is that they aren't permanent and that they are something that you can take out. However, what comes with taking out a piercing is a scar. If one day you wanna take it out, you're going to have a scar there. Some scars are definitely better than others. So let's get started with maybe an obvious one, but maybe not obvious to everyone. And that is lip piercings. So whether you're getting snake bites, a philtrum, a Munro, whatever lip piercing it is, they basically leave a hole in your face. Now, it's not exactly a hole per se with some lip piercing scars. You could almost try and like put something in the hole, but it's not going to push through. It basically looks like a dot on your face. And I'll tell you, a lot of people have these, especially from the good old scene days. There's a lot of people who had snake bites. Snake bites are probably the most common in terms of seeing piercing scars in general. I definitely find that I see and notice, like you will notice snake bite scars almost the most and any upper lip piercing as well. Any lip piercing, you're going to get like a whole looking scar. There's not really anything you can do about it, but you can get them surgically removed. I will put in a video where I've spoken about that before, which is really cool if you really don't like the whole look that a lip piercing scar gives you after you've had the piercing, then you can get them removed, but obviously that's costly and it can still leave a slight scar because now you're getting it removed and that still has to be worked on. So like, just watch the video and you'll see what I mean. I guess you can look at it like, you know, this is a piercing that if I wanted to get it surgically removed, I could, but like how many people are actually gonna go and do that? I don't know anyone who's done it. And I just know a whole lot of people who like, you can see it on their lips. You can see those scars. It's fine. It doesn't matter, but like they're very obvious. And if you've ever been talking to someone and maybe noticed like a dot, like a sort of indented dot, it probably is a lip piercing that they previously had. Another one, dermal anchors. Dermals are quite known for the scarring. They can have quite brutal scars. When you're getting a dermal, you're getting it done with a biopsy punch. So we're talking thick. So it's taking out quite a hunk there. Hunk oh, yeah. So it is no surprise that the scar is quite intense and quite brutal. My dermal anchor scar sucks. I have been getting like micro needling to like help with getting rid of it. But again, there's only so much you can do because it is quite a deep scar. People's dermal scars vary. It depends whether they let the anchor sort of like grow out or whether they got it taken out, how it was taken out, whether it was taken out safely or in a fucked way. All these things determine what your scar is going to look like. But most of the time it does look like an indent in your face, like where that tissue has been taken out. You can't put the tissue back in that was taken out with the biopsy punch. So that all factors into the scarring of it. Navel piercings. Now, navels, for some people, nah, honestly, for some people it might not be so bad. It might sort of just be like, you can sort of see the hole on the top and then like inside the navel itself, like you can't see that scar. So I guess you're only really seeing the scar on the top part of the navel. However, it just like, it draws your eyes to it all the time. I always notice it. Maybe that's just the piercer in me. It could be. I don't know if you've seen in like model campaigns, but like I always notice when someone has had it because you just see that like dot sitting on the top of the navel and you're just like, oh, yep, you've had it too. And it's almost like a sign of the times. I mean, people are still getting their navel pierced. It is very clear in like, I guess like millennials, you notice it so much there. Cause it's like people generally aren't wearing the jewelry anymore. They've taken the jewelry out. 
They want it to close, but it can only close so much before you can still see the scar of it. That scar, again, you can get that removed as well, but it's not the easiest thing to do. It's not like you can remove it yourself. You've got to get a plastic surgeon to do it. And you want it to be done well because you don't want to cause more of a scar than you already have. <laughs> I've got multiple on my navel from my multiple navel piercings. I don't even care anymore, but like I kind of also wish I didn't have them because when I see a fresh navel, I go, oh, you don't have any scars there. And then when I pierce a navel, I go, oh, you're gonna have a scar there now. And you'll probably take this out maybe within a year. Maybe you'll keep it for five years, but generally people don't keep it for that long. It's just not really a piercing that people have forever. I just personally don't think a navel piercing is worth the scar that it leaves. That's all I'm trying to say. If you think it is, that's great, but I just don't because I have many to prove it that I'm like, wish I just didn't get the navel piercing. Cause now all I think I can do is get a navel piercing again to try and hide the scar, but it won't, it, it just won't. Going on from navel piercings, I feel like we'll just go on to surface piercings. A navel piercing is a surface piercing, but basically any surface piercing, you're gonna be left with a hella scar. Throughout this video, I'm going to try my best to find scar pictures, but it is hard to find. That's probably why people ask because they can't find it on the internet. It's just like not the most common thing for people, I guess, to like upload pictures of. I wish more people did so I could put them in my videos, but like, yeah, it's quite hard to find scar pictures. Surface piercings. So for instance, anti-eyebrow piercings hella scarring. It's on your face. It's near your eyes. It's like very obvious. They're cute piercing, but the scarring sucks for them. Bridge piercing, exact same as well. If you're letting it migrate, you're going to have a worse scar than you would if you were to just take it out when you notice that starting to happen because the bridge piercing can have a hella scar or you can be left with not such a bad scar that can be easily covered with makeup. So that is definitely one that Get on it quick because covering it with makeup is a lot easier than having like hella scarring. A vertical tragus, eh, scarring for them can be pretty bad. I mean, some people don't get it too bad, but a lot of people get it quite bad, especially if it's rejected. It doesn't look nice. You can definitely see like larger scarring than if you were to take it out sooner, but I guess most people don't take it out until it is rejecting. And that's the same with most surface piercings. You're generally getting a worse scar because you're letting it grow out rather than taking it out sooner. I mean, the best thing you can do is if you notice it starting to reject, just take it out. We should all learn this, but we don't. I mean, I, I've i never learned. I always am just like, I can make this work. I, it'll work this time. It won't. If it if it looks like it is migrating out of your body, it's, it's only going to continue to do that and cause further scarring. As it's pushing out, it's like causing a larger scar along the way. So just take the bastard out. It sucks, I know, but it just, it won't get any better. We spoke about like outer lip, but the horizontal lip, it almost leaves like lumps on your lips. And that is one that I'm really don't know how you can go about making the scarring better. Lip skin is obviously a lot softer, different type of skin than the face. It just popped into my head the other day that I saw that like your lip skin is the same as your anus skin. so. That's cool. I don't really know how you how best to go about like getting that scarring to go down, getting it to look nicer because yeah, it can be quite the lumpy scar, the center of your face and it's like where you're speaking just very obvious. So I would say one of the worst scars from piercings comes from the cheek piercings. Now, some people get cheek piercings so that they will have dimples, which is cute, which is great. I love it. I mean, I've definitely been tempted in the past to get cheek piercings for this specific purpose. But the only thing that comes with the dimples is that like the scarring on the cheeks can be quite intense. It's not just the fact that it's like, oh, cute, I've got dimples now. There's also like quite an intense scar on your cheeks as well. And I mean, if that doesn't bother you, then that's fine. But that is just something to be wary about that these piercings do leave quite a hectic scar and you will have dimples as well. So some people want the dimples, but I guess if you didn't know that you will have dimples after you get cheek piercings and you don't want dimples, then 
that's something that you should really think about as well. I suppose it's the scar that's causing the dimple effect to happen. I personally don't know exactly how it works, but you get dimples from it. So it's almost like scar and dimple. These both come together. You can't have one or the other. If you don't want dimples, don't get cheek piercings. And if you don't want quite a hectic scar, don't get cheek piercings. So that wraps up the worst scar video. Let me know which one you guys think has scarred you the worst. I definitely know that my navel has been the worst for me. Also my philtrum as well, but that's why I get it over and over again because I don't want the scar there. So I just have to have this piercing for the rest of my life, I suppose, so that I don't have to deal with the scar. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a like and I'll be back very soon. Bye.